The society which we live in is made up of many ethnicities, economies, and nations. The actions of every individual living there may be negligible. However, creating a chain reaction from one person to another, it swells to large proportions. For example, if a car turns left or not, if new clothes are bought or not, if vaccines are administered or not. The actions of the individual may expand into wide-ranging social phenomena concerning traffic, economy, and medical epidemics. The supercomputer K is playing an important role in interpreting a variety of phenomena within our society. What role is it going to perform? We'll be closing in on the world's most advanced research. A view of the Earth from space. Beautiful, isn't it? This is a similar video, calculated by the K computer. What do you think it is? This is actually a simulation of traffic patterns in Kobe. Developed by the Discrete Event Simulation Research Team at RECAN. Created using as much of the actual traffic environment as possible. The lines on the screen are actual roads. Each of the dots represents a car or a truck. Not only Kobe, but Tokyo and Rome. This simulation can be run simultaneously for cities around the world. As this research advances, it will greatly help to improve automobile traffic. In society, natural disasters cannot be avoided. Methods to minimize the damages are now being calculated by the K-computer. A research team headed by Itsuki Noda, Principal Research Manager of the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology, uses simulations to evaluate evacuation plans for residents during major disasters. Seen here, a region was divided into town-sized segments, and the residents were given generalized instructions for evacuation. The areas congested with people are shown in red. As seen here, the residents can't efficiently get to the designated shelter. The dots representing people remain because they take a long time to get to the shelter. On the other hand, when the region was divided into neighborhood-sized segments and the residents were given detailed instructions for evacuation, they can move smoothly to the designated shelter. Quickly, the dots representing people disappear. Performing simulations using the K-computer with various parameters for the segment size and instructions for evacuation, unexpected results were achieved. Let's put these results into a graph. The horizontal axis shows how detailed the segments and instructions are. The vertical axis is the time required for evacuation. As simulations were repeated to search the optimal solution to minimize both time and instructions, the marks converged into an L-shape. This result shows that we need segmentation and instructions to be detailed enough in order to shorten the evacuation time. But if the instructions are too detailed, the evacuation time is not decreased any further. These results indicate that there is a highly efficient evacuation plan at the bottom left area of the L shape. 
it can be interpreted that this area can have a simple and effective evacuation plan. Using this simulation framework, more appropriate evacuation plans could be custom designed for each region. Another important aspect related to disasters is the damage that is propagated through the economy. This is Hiroyasu Inoue, an associate professor at the University of Hyogo. Dr. Inoue has utilized existing data from approximately 1 million companies and their 5 million transactions to simulate how the disruptions triggered by the Great East Japan earthquake spread through corporate activities. In the beginning, companies within the four prefectures closest to the epicenter are heavily affected. Then, through the supply chains, disruptions in production are propagated. Day by day, we can see an increase in the number of affected companies, indicated by red dots, spread across the country. This shows that the supply chains cover the entire country, and even distant companies are only a few connections away. After 50 days, however, we can see that the red dots become yellow, which shows that the affected companies are slowly recovering. Refining this model, which was built based on a real disaster, we can estimate the economic impact of future earthquakes expected in the eastern Nankai trough. Professor Yoshi Fujiwara at the University of Hyogo has performed simulations on how financial stress in general, such as economic crises and a domino effect of bankruptcies, spreads among companies. This is a computer graphics video showing one million companies in virtual space. Each dot represents a company and each color indicates an industrial sector. First, financial stress is applied to the 5,000 companies in the automotive industry placed in the center. Then the stress can be seen spreading through companies in related fields. By zooming in, you can see how individual companies are affected. Professor Fujiwara and his collaborators are developing simulations in order to make more precise predictions on economic networks. Simulations of social phenomena sometimes reveal hidden connections between seemingly unrelated phenomena. Here is an interesting example. There is an empirical study on product life cycles at convenience stores. Did you know that only a few products are sold continuously, becoming staples, while the majority of products are replaced with new ones in a short period of time? The vertical axis shows the number of products being sold. The horizontal axis shows sales duration. After one year, only 3% of the products remain. Interestingly, the overlaid red curve represents a completely different phenomenon. That is a curve showing the number of biological species that had survived in the ecosystem. When mathematical equations were obtained through the analysis of simulations, it turned out that the two phenomena followed a similar trend. It implies that a common mechanism might underlie in the dynamics of convenience stores and biological evolution. As research continues, unexpected connections between phenomena may be revealed. Nobuyasu Ito, a team leader at Riken, says they will continue to advance their research. 
For example, when creating a new phenomenon, new method or policy, we could take into account how the world may change and if that would bring happiness to everybody. I'm looking forward to a day when a simulation of all aspects of the society, starting with technical calculations, could provide scientific predictions considering the lives of each individual or when it becomes possible to construct a social revolution entirely within a computer, with the ability to search for a better direction for human society. The post-K computer, which will succeed the K computer, will allow us to perform even more precise analyses. With post-K, we can further advance our understanding of social phenomena.